after starting this vacuum cycle, we waited for almost two hours to reach this vacuum level. So as I already mentioned, it took two hours because we are just uh, doing it as as per the pump's efficiency. If we could use uh, liquid nitrogen that we have shown earlier there, so if we could have uh, used liquid nitrogen, then it would be done within uh, half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that, but that is not available in our lab right now. So here you can see the chamber pressure measured by the panning gauge. It is 3.7 e power minus 6 millibar. So actually, as I mentioned earlier, like 3 power minus 6 milliliter or in millibar it will come around 4 e power minus 6 or less than that pressure will be good enough for our base pressure. So this is 3.7 e power minus 6 is uh, millibar is good as uh, like base pressure for any of the deposition techniques. So here after this we can just seal the chamber and start our process. So first we will seal the chamber. If we seal it will stop the uh, vacuum creation process and now these many options are available. So our goal is to deposit the material now. So we will press process here. So when process is pressed, so it will go to the next pump down cycle. Before that, it will go for throttle pumping. So that means in this time, if we uh, have any argon connection, then this time could be useful for plasma creation and that pla uh, that plasma could clean the chamber but we are not doing that and secondly as we have photoresist coated on that if we do plasma cleaning then photoresist will go that will uh, basically hamper our whole process flow so we are not using that so you can see again it reached to fine pumping 2 but that's it uh, so now let us start the deposition process and uh, we will start with switching on the electron beam main supply then we will uh, proceed. So let us switch on TPG power and let it be plus power. Then this switch we have shown you earlier. So that is gone. Now here we will switch on this transformer power. When both are done, then now we will focus in this area because other controls are here and uh, DTM or rotation drive or electronic shutter energy is here and DTM is here. So we will focus only this area and this uh, what is and we will see what is happening in the chamber. So uh, as you can see it is in fact of the two mode. So and uh, now we will check the pressure 3.63. So this we can consider as the base pressure. Now we will start as before starting only we can see here see vacuum is flowing, water is on, then rotation drive that is connected, gun is off and power is off. And obviously it will open because we are doing it in parallel. So let us switch on this. So it will take some time. So this will switch on the output from the transformer. So after that, if we switch on gun, it will we can see how much constant voltage is delivered. See here, as we have told earlier, here we can see 5 kV constant supply and here we will change this filament power to get the electron beam. And now you can see here that power is also on and gun is also on. This one you can see. Now uh, before switching on this gun, we should make sure that this current should be set at minimum because if it is at some higher uh, value then it will it can generate a thermal shock for the uh, sorry, uh, for the filament so let us increase it so as per the optimized recipe we will go so usually we deposit titanium at 80, uh, 80 milliampere current however we cannot directly reach 0 to 80 in one shot. If we do that, then there is a fair chance that we will get a thermal shock and material may not melt properly first and second, crucible may break. So we will go step by step and we will have optimized the recipe in that way. So here, before starting, 
we simply decided to program and see which procedure is on. So here we can see that procedure 3 is on. So we know that we are going to deposit at here only. That is first thing. Now we will switch on DTF. This is a thickness monitor which shows us how much thickness we have uh, or we will deposit. So from here you can see uh, we have to select the film. So as we are depositing titanium in our tool, we have designated titanium as tool number 2. So just let us change it to tool number 2. So now when the deposition will be going on, that material will be considered as a titanium or based on the properties of titanium and we will get some uh, thickness output here. As you read your switcher, so you can understand that these values are not actually valid. So before starting, we will uh, basically disturb before taking the actual value. So here, first we will, uh, as per our recipe, we will follow. Whenever you handle any tool or whenever you increase current, just make sure that you will do it really slow. Otherwise, there is a chance of trouble. Even when I am increasing the current level, I am trying to be as slow as possible. So that it will uh, give us the actual pattern that we put here. We adjusted the amplitude to be adjusted as per the requirement. So you can see that some amount of deposition has been started, but this is not actually, uh, I mean, we can see through the report that it is not, I mean, when we will show through the report, now we know that it is not the actual deposition rate as well, and uh, we can see the material is not getting it properly. So we will wait till the, we reach the current, then we say to get it, after that we can start our process. Before uh, we remove the shutter, we will just start this rotation drive so that it will evaporate in rotation mode and in rotation mode the uniformity, the like expected uniformity will be better than the stage mode. So as we are doing it for a sample and as we are targeting to uh, get some proper devices, so we will do it in rotation mode only. At 18 milliampere, we will deposit the material. So, from here we can see that uh, this is happening. So, uh, we can just see through the viewport now. So, as we open the viewport, you can see that that is our crucible. It is kind of hot, first of all, and the shutter is also there. So, as per our recipe, we waited for the actual time required. So, we will just open the shutter. See, the shutter has moved from there. So now, material will be deposited on the wafer. So we will wait till uh, it reaches some thickness that, uh, that is our expected thickness. After that, we will close the shutter. Till that time, it will be deposited. And we are not supposed to open this for long time because then it can uh, deposit on the glass of this viewport. So that's why we just close it for the time being.
So as you can see, it gives further that we wanted 0.3. So first, as a first step, we will switch, close the shutter. So as you close the shutter, so no other material will go and deposit on that, making sure of that. Then we will start decreasing the current again slowly. So let's confirm that it is at the minimum level. Then uh, these values will change. So that at that moment, whatever value we get, that you should consider here. So I just So uh, as that was done, now we are supposed to change this crucible. So before changing crucible, we should switch off the gun. Otherwise, your I mean, this system will keep. So avoid the tripping. So here, you can see here the rotation will be still on by changing that. This will be the condition, status of the thing. That will be still on. This rotation drive will not, uh, it will be on. Then we will go for switching off the gun. And after this, We'll switch up this as well. So now there is no connection, but we can switch on the thing anytime. After this, we'll change uh, the tether. So we can get the separate two. So let us go there first. And here, some other value is there. This is for time here. We have to change this one. So start. So this will reset the things. Then Fib number to be set at 1. So 1 corresponds to time number. So we'll set at this and then we'll start our work again. So let us see when it reaches the place. And here as the radar is off, so we can understand that this rotation is still going on and it is not ready. See here, production drive is on, and here you can check who is blowing. So it reached 2. Here we can start our process again. Similar steps. Next, 1. Wait for some time. So it's done. But here, uh, Platinum deposition will take much higher current than titanium. It can take up to 200 milliampere. So till the time we reach 200 milliampere, as your current level is higher, we have to encounter many more steps. Or we should introduce more number of steps so that thermal shock will be minimized. So let us see if we open that. This is ready, so all these are going. So we are good to go. Now here, we will just reduce it to the level that it is needed for catalog. So this will be something different for your team, for your team to deposit. Okay, as we are all set to go, we will start to the main ground will come out correctly, right? So here you can see that we are done with the deposition. We didn't want you to show the recipe because that was optimized in our lab. So we didn't want you to share the recipe. So uh, that part we didn't record. So here you can see the deposition was done. We kept that current back to zero. Similar in the similar way for the titanium it was. So now uh, after that I reset this DTM. So here just press start we will reset the DTM. So that we did and other things are still on as of now. So this was anyway off. 
So, after that we can switch off the gun. So, this will uh, stop the heating, then here we can make it 0 and here 2 as I already discussed the platinum was in crucible 2 that is why still it is on. So, we will switch off the turret controller also because that is not required anymore and we can switch off this. And as other things are done and the position is already over, so we can stop the rotation and DTM also we can switch it off. Here the first thing after any electron beam deposit, uh, evaporation, you have to switch off the transformer. So, here uh, after that transformer should be off, so switch off the transformer because this can be one of your main safety hazards, electrical hazard basically because it is giving you constant 5 kilo volt supply. So, after this the supply for electron beam gun should be off. So, we will switch off that EBG power, but we will keep that actual system on because we have to do some other things, we have to take that uh, chuck out. So, it is deposited already. So, for that still fine pumping is going on, so it is in process mode, we will seal it. So, after sealing the chamber all these options are available. Now, we can go for cycle to uh, like increase the pressure uh, sorry uh, to increase the vacuum to decrease the pressure again, but here probably you have noticed that it was in E power minus 5 range after deposition because when evaporated materials are in the chamber that will significantly uh, result in falling the pressure or uh, sorry falling the vacuum or raising the pressure. So, that is what it happened. After this we can go for vent. So, chamber is sealed now if we vent it then only chamber will be vent, but other lines to the pump or other things those will be on. So, we want to keep the pumps on because immediately after taking it out we will go for vacuum cycle again. So, we will press vent here. So, chamber vent sequence it will uh, see, see the status here. The status is saying that chamber vent sequence is uh, going on now and air admit valve open. So, air admit valve we show you the vent valve the I mean while introducing to this tool. So, it is going on. So, whenever it will be done we can seal the chamber from here as we have told and we will open the chamber and see how is the deposition. So, uh, as we press seal. So, now we are about to open the chamber. So, let us see how was the deposition. The same way we loaded the chuck, we took it out, uh, the, took that out. So, here if we see, so last when we have shown this part was kind of clean. So, after deposition you can see the material got deposited on this as well as on the chuck. So, wafer got the deposition and this. So, here what is the structure as of now? So, on silicon wafer as a support on top of it there is polyamide, on top of it photoresist layer is there that was patterned by lithography. So, on top of it we have now deposition of titanium and platinum. This is that structure. And so, uh, after each and every deposition as our ch uh, chuck will be like this, so we have to clean it. So, before that first thing is we will remove this wafer and save it for the further processes. So, here uh, again we kept it on our solvent bench. So, we have to take it out. So, before taking it out just one thing you should keep in mind that this polyamide layer is very susceptible to come out with the things. So, be careful, we will just take the tapes out and as we know that uh, back sides were attached directly, so it, it should not be any problem. So, here you can see this much material was deposited and this was our actual wafer. This was the condition before deposition, however, this became like this. So, now we will remove the tapes and keep this wafer ready for next process. So, do it bit carefully. If you are practiced enough, then good, otherwise, do it 
carefully. So here we are keeping it in it here. So these are our finally deposited wafer. So probably you can see the patterns as well. We'll use this uh, for fabricating the device. So for further processes, we will send it for lift off. So now we will keep the wafer safe in a petri dish. Better to avoid touching the center parts because most of the devices are there only. So we already closed it. We will uh, keep this in desiccated again. This part is done. So our next thing is we have to clean this chuck that we will do offline anyway. So uh, we kept the save the wafer for our next processes. We kept in desiccator. So our next process will be uh, lift off where we will uh, remove the unwanted part of the deposition and get the pattern. We will come back with lift off process in the next module. Till then take care. Thank you.